Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to paint this beautiful fall leaf with watercolor. So I start with an actual sketch as usual. I look at the reference photo and sketch out most of the bigger veins as you can see. This will help with the painting process afterwards. I like to align my sketch then erase the pencil sketching after it's dry to make sure there's no pencil sketching left on my finished painting. Feel free to skip this process if you sketch directly with watercolor. After I'm done with that, I apply masking fluid to preserve the lighter veins. Because the veins are lighter than the base color, doing this will make the painting process later much easier. Once the masking fluid is completely dry, we can start painting the base color. I first put a base color on the stem and quickly add shadow around the edge while the paper is still wet. Then I change to my bigger brush and apply the base color on the leaf. I start painting from the lightest color which is yellow, then slowly move on to the darker tones which are orange, red, and brown. As you can see, because we applied the masking fluid before, now we can simply paint the colors on directly without avoiding the lighter areas, which makes this coloring process much easier and faster. So in this step, you want to make sure to get the base color right because after we remove the masking fluid, it will be harder to repaint the base color again. Continue adding darker shadows on the leaf while the paper is still wet, so the colors blend nicely into each other. This will create the natural blending base color we want. After the base color is finished and dried, it's time to remove the masking fluid. I'm using a remover here. Once you remove all the masking fluid, you can see the veins we preserved before are very white. So now I'm putting a lighter tone on all the veins. I'm using a permanent yellow light color here. After that, I change to my smoke pen brush to refine the veins. I start painting from the right side of the leaf. As you can see, some preserved veins are too white, which make them look unnatural. This is because sometimes when we apply masking fluid, it's harder to cover all the details right. When I refine the veins, I also add darker shadows around them and around the leaf edges, so it looks more 3D. Next, I add the details on the leaf. If you look closely, the leaf has all these little darts and patterns on it. So here I'm about done with the right side leaf, then I move on to the left side of the leaf. Doing the same process before, start with refining the veins, then add details. After I'm done with the leaf, it's time to add the darkest shades. 
This step is quite important because it will make the whole leaf stand out more. Usually, around the veins and the edges have darker shades. Then I go back to the stem. I add the shadows around the end and around the junction that connects the stem and the leaf. I also add the small dots as well, so it looks natural. Finally, the touch-up. I like to go back and check the whole painting again to see if there's any detail missing or any shadows needing to be strengthened again. And now we are about done. The beautiful full leaf painting. I really like how it turned out. What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. So that's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please like and share with your friends, and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.